<laughs> oh my god, it's so delayed. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I put it on uh, NVIDIA because uh, the original one was just integrated. So now it's on NVIDIA. Hopefully it works out. We'll see. Cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can actually play the game. If not, I, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> Alright, let's see. New game. Yes, hi Denise! Denise Akira Nicole Forest Medina, hi. Alright, we're starting the game. It's really cute. I like it. Puzzle investigation. Sasquatch research? Did I see that right? Am I the only one in the puzzle research department? That's a long name, right? Right? I remember saying that uh, la last time, the first time I saw it. <laughs> What is happening? It's it it actually kind it's kind of creepy now that there's no music. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Oh my god, that sounds so creepy. What is happening? Be worried if I was him. What is happening? What? <gasps> also, the frames you are seeing is his, it's actually like that. All right, it's not low frames. It's really just like that. Was that a dream? Uh, cropped. Crossword assignment. Nelson Tether's crossword puzzles had has been ripped to bits, but oh, but there's something written on it. Reconstructed to find out. All right, cool. Solve it. Oh, oh, it's just like this. Uh, wait, I played puzzle together. I should. Oh, there you go. I accidentally did that. What do you mean accidentally? Ah, uh, my brain cells are very good. Hi, Hamid! There you go, look at that. I intentionally did that. There? No, 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 I didn't mean that. This one. There you go. Look at that! Brain cells, good! Skogin. Is that, is that a G? That looks like a G. Scoggins? Scoggins? Taxpayers' dollars spent 75 million? What does that mean? What does that mean? But we got 10 stars? Yeah, 10 stars. Look at this top agent in the making here. Look at that. Spider. Uh, puzzle research. Oh, this happening? is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? Who oh, no, for the five it's puzzle just, research? It's been, yes, quite some time. Uh huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, huh? yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. Uh, I'll yes. be on the next plane to... Hi, Kim Yoon. <laughs> Wait, where? Is it, is, it, is it there? Oh, we are going! <gasps> the dream was real. Oh, wait, it was real to begin with because we didn't write that down. It was the astronaut boy that write that down, right? Look at those frames. 
animation good wow this sounds so dramatic i did not expect this from this game <laughs> cool the the white house needs its erasers and us the fossil agent is called to the scene is what i'm getting also there's an astronaut yeah that was a thing forgot <laughs> just arrived in scoggins minnesota cool population 754 temperature mm, we're just gonna cold guess and not much to look at according to the agency All there's right. some kind of situ in thing going on at the local eraser factory the whole plant is shut down is there only one eraser factory? There's a weird man staring at me. We could just Hopefully get it from another brand. <clears throat> is the White Agent House Tether's like out. really that loyal to this um, factory? I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Uh, there's a goddamn man in front of you. Talk to the creepy man. There you go. Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. It's nice to Bjorn? have voice yeah. acting. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Was it? See, it yeah. looked like it was okay. Oh. Uh, hotel. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It uh -huh. can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Two traffic lights? Or oh, wait, what? All right. Directions and detours. Nelson's small uh, snowmobile is sliding along the roads. Arrange the logs to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. The two traffic lights? Uh, puzzle rules. Oh my god. Oh shit. Alright, <laughs> we need our brain cells. Uh, drag logs from the menu to this game grid. A log can be dragged to any free space. Now Nelson's snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left depending on the log's orientation. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Press submit when you think the logs are arrangedly arranged correctly. All right, cool. So we need. Cool. Oh, we need to get to the hotel. Um. Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Let's start here. So like this. This, right? So I assume like this. There. That's that should be fine, right? I just need to hit the two lights, so it should be like tut, 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 right? That should be fine. Submit. I'm doubting my brain cells for some reason. <laughs> there you go. That was easy. The big brain gaming here, boyos. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that. Ten stars. Top agent, boys. I can be I can apply for FBI now. Uh... Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh... 
I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Well, okay. thank you for wasting my gas, old man. Uh, factory. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. Cool. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. They close? Hotels close? I thought hotels was just like open the whole day. Suspicious people. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny asks lots of questions. There's a stupid Let's hat. It. My hat Thanks is not stupid. Yep. My hat looks cool on me, I think. I think it looks fine. Don't 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 be hurt, Agent Tethers. What's his name again? What's his first name? I forgot. I just remember his tethers. Oh Nelson, there you go. Inspect the fence. Why is there bites? Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Cool. So we can go look around, I guess. How about we let's look around? No? Alright. Oh, I can do this. And see if we can click stuff. I guess not. Let's just go to Yak class. Did I read the sign right? Hello? What's with the gnomes? Oh my god, there's a crazy man. Um, what's this? What was that? Uh, gnomes. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Um, oh shit, it's a puzzle. I was going to be like, um, why are you telling me this, ma'am? That is none of my concern. Uh, negative gnomes. A ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display, but which gnome? Identify the gnome in Martha's photo. Negative that doesn't appear in the display. Oh, oh shit, it's negative and also it's fl flipped. What the fuck? Alright, cool. Um Alright, let's start one by one. So this should be the opposite. So it has a green hat. Right? It's a red. Uh-huh. And it's flip the opposite. So I think this is this. So that's checked out. Uh, this, uh, uh, first of all, it's flipped to the side. So it might be this one. Because a uh, red hat it should be green. Right? So I think this and this are crossed out this one's and this all right now this is it this one that's missing because it's supposed to be flipped to the other side so it should be like this but red means it should be green and there's no more green people left is it this but let, let's just check uh, this one's red, it flipped to the side, so it must be this. This is... should have red, flipped to the other side, so it is this. Yeah, 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 this one's missing. Yeah! Look at this! Big Brain Gaming! <laughs> did I say hello to you, Hammett? I feel like I didn't. I don't remember, but look at us. Top agents. 
Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, I can talk. Uh, oh, wait, what? Nice. I don't think I can click anything else. Let's talk hello. to her first. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah, you're here about Nelson the Eraser Factory. Nelson is not factory. a name I hear a lot. We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, cool. I'm gonna make some hot dish for you wait, later. Did, wait, uh, did I ever say dish? that I'm an FBI oh, agent? You'll love I it. Forgot. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. Also, is the volume fine? Like, I mean, most of the time it's silent anyways, but I just want to make sure if uh, the volume's not too loud compared to my voice, I guess. Room key! So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. Oh dear, yeah, it's this good. is right. so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind Why? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Why I'm would they do that? <laughs> cool. A uh, room key confusion. The security mind minded night clerk notated notate the, is that how you say it? Notated Nelson's room. Is notated a word? I would feel like noted, right? I guess maybe. <laughs> Nelson's room number in cryptic form. Help Marta see what's written so you can get your keys. Cool. Alright. Is that room 9? Is, is that... Is that it? <laughs> Notated is a word? Damn. Alright, cool. No I guess notation is a word, so it makes sense for it to have uh what they called is that a verb yeah i guess that's a verb right uh nine yeah 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 <laughs> notation is a uh, noun so that is so notated is a is a verb uh so I think this is the answer. You know, sometimes when puzzles are like too simple and you're like, is it is it bamboozling me? Is there a hidden answer to this? Uh, but I think it's nine. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Higher AG, by the way. Look at that. Stop agents, boys. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah. Now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. I like man. her accent, but I don't know if it's accurate to any kind of Thanks. accent in the world. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I they promise. They should be in America oh, yeah, considering the White House needs the erasers, right? Uh, getting around. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh dear, our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double check things. Oh, of course. Cool. Well, it's easy. <laughs> I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right Scottish, here. Scottish, I guess. I mean, yeah, but I don't know if it's accurately you know, Scottish. Our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh yeah, well that, that is happened. weird. <laughs> uh wait a moment. Hopefully we don't crash. 
Um, Scoggins Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? What accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Killed, all right. Well, cool. not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, we little need creatures here. that live in the woods around the factory. The raccoon Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff group. Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the Sheriff factory right Bog. now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Right in front of the factory? Did she say, God damn, I'm not paying attention. My brain cells, my brain cells are occupied with doing the puzzles. I am not retaining any of the information so I, I hear. <laughs> She sounds like Marida and Brave. I guess, kind of. It's not that strong. Hi, Janus? Janus? Fuck. How do you say your name again? <laughs> I kind of forgot by this point. Fuck. <laughs> Hi, Shay! Hey, welcome, Shay! Puzzled the Patron. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, yeah, the crazy That's dude. Bo Murphy. He's always been Bo a bit Murphy. of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying yeah. to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Cool. Goodbye. Hey. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. Why? We to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps What's me the concentrate. Problem? Pick the ABC gum. What's ABC gum? What does that mean? Also, internet bad. Wait a moment. Internet's really, really bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's green now? Should be, we should be back? Alright, cool. Is, is this it? ABC gum? Is he gonna eat? Oh no, he's going to chew the chewed up gum! <laughs> A gum found. Nelson Teller thinks best when he's chewing gum. Any kind of gum. Find discarded gum and use it to get a hit during a sticky puzzle. That was what I was been get I have been getting around. I couldn't really tell what the fuck it is, but now we know it's chewed up gum. <laughs> is there a lot of chewed up gum in this place? I don't think you you see chewed up gum a lot. It's disgusting. I mean, if we need it, I guess. Cool. Can't you just chew some paper or something? You really need it to be gum. All right, let's. Talk Excuse to me, Bo you look Murphy. perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Hi, I'm the puzzle age agent from. The Department of Puzzle Research in FBI, by the way. I can help you with your puzzles. Tapeworm Twister. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. Again? Cool. His x-ray shows only tapeworms. Or does it? Rotate the segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. I mean, in real life, it's this goddess thing. Yeah, it is. It is, indeed. <laughs> I would never... Also, chewed up gum tend to, like, harden over time. We don't know how long this gum has been here, and it's really cold. I would assume the gum would be, like, solid at this point, right? If there has no... If there wasn't, like, any gum shipped to this place, in like months, I would assume that the gums we're picking up would be like like rock solid. I don't think it would be pleasant to chew it, you know? Besides the fact that it's disgusting, right? Like, I mean, the 
it's disgusting if it's like a newer one because damn all the saliva's in there and stuff right it's still wet it's still fresh but if it's been like months since this gum has been here then um i would assume like the saliva has all been like evaporated and stuff i'm sure there's lots tons of bacteria in that because it's been there for a while but it's gonna be rock solid oh well <laughs> well, well oh well he he does what he needs to do right also internet sucks again so let's wait it out a bit all right there you go so i need to reveal one that's not tapeworm right does that connect that doesn't oh it does it does all right cool this one can only be like this i think This seems right because uh, this one has nowhere to go. That's a small ass. Oh shit, I think that's. That looks good. tapeworm with two heads here which concerns me but now we have this like full loop that shows a rubber band right so i think that's right so i think that's what i just needed to do like reveal a loop right We have a tapeworm with two heads here, which is concerning, but I think it's right. It seems right. Because this doesn't really fit that well as well, you know? Look at that. That that works out perfectly. So I think that's right. So let's submit it. Cool. Yay! Look at that! Puzzle agents! We don't even need chew gum! I think that's the hint. I think. Yeah, it is, right? Cool. Let's Saul. avoid that. Now maybe you can relax a little. Oh dear, whispers. If it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? Or not? What? <laughs> what happened? We have nothing else? We can still speak to them. Hi, Classic Romeo! Welcome, we're FBI agents right now. Is there. Oh, there's gum. So weird, OMG. <laughs> Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. I did not expect this when I bu uh, bought it on Steam. It it's on sale. <laughs> I, I thought this would be like a really short puzzle game. So I was like, hey, why not? You know, we need something short for a bit. Uh, uh, before we go move on to like longer games on the stream. So, and also I have a lot of like puzzle kind of mystery games on my Steam list. So I was like, ah, we haven't done any like mystery puzzle games on the Steam uh, on the stream, so we might as well, you know. Uh, the Annabelle Annabelle Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over, and the judge missed it. Read the four statements and help him determine the win. Oof! All right, Arm Wrestling Redux. All right, sure. Um. 
All right, who win, right? Pat won fair and square, but who's Pat? Oh, I can choose. All right, cool. So we don't know who it is. Outmatched by the grisly grip. I pin pearl like a new hat. Flo's grisly grip couldn't. Oh my god. Alright, cool. Oh, uh, who's Pat? Pat is the one who won? Is it? Who's Pearl? Who are. How would I know? So, uh, this girl has been outmatched by the Grizzly Grit. But. Which is. Flows. I wonder who's the grizzly grip. But this girl was not. Oh my god, do we need the hint? Oh my god. Uh, so Flows grizzly grip couldn't whip me. Alright, so. She lost already. And she 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 did this one this and then lose to the girl she lost. She lost to. Uh Who's Pearl? We don't know who the fuck they're talking about, so that's we don't know. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. Unless she says that. At least, uh, at least, <laughs> unless Pearl is this girl and she pinned her. Right? Wait, it's like a. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Pot one fair and square. So that me might mean like she's bad. How would I know? It's not like they have names. Oh my god, what do you think guys? Should I get a hint? <laughs> First hint. Like a new hat. Uh, like. So it's obviously not her, because someone else won. Right? So I would. I am assuming, right? I am assuming. I'm assuming that this girl is the grizzly grip. And so she lost to her. But this girl did not lose to her. Because Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. Right? So she did not lose. But. Because then she would be flow, right? And I pin for like a new hat. That would be. And I would assume that is her. Should we use a hint? Let's use one. I don't know. I'm quite kinda confident that it might be her. Considering one, she lost. Also, she lost this one. She just said she didn't lose to someone else, right? But she didn't say that, like, no, I don't know. He... I don't know. 
Let's use a hint. Two contest uh, contestants were eliminated in the first round. Can you figure out which two? I think I know which two it is. But that does not help me. We need to uh, we need to figure out who won in the contest, right? Fuck. Alright, so I think these two are the ones who lost because she already said that she was outmatched by the Grizzly Grip. Now we don't know who the Grizzly Grip is, but the Grizzly Grip lost to this girl. So it's not this girl. Uh, I would ass and Pat won fair and square, so I would assume that this girl lost as well. Someone else won. So it's between these two. Oh, 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 oh. I guess it is her. Because if she was up much by the Grizzly gr uh, Grip, then she couldn't be Pearl, right? She wouldn't be Pearl. And if this girl lost... She would probably have lost to this girl because Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think she's the one who won. I'm not sure why, but I think she is. I think, like, my thinking is not enough of an evidence to say that it's her, but it's definitely one of them. Now, Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me, right? So I assume this is Flo, and she lost, right? And since she didn't mention the last girl, I would assume that she lost to the last girl. Since Pearl couldn't be this girl, and Flo couldn't be this girl, Pearl could only be this girl, right? So I think it's her. We did use a gum though. We used the hint. My brain cells have overworked itself from the few first few puzzles already. Now I can't. <laughs> she might be Pearl then, and she might be the Grizzly Grip. If she's the Grizzly Grip, then it would be her. I'm just gonna do that. There you go. No. <laughs> it was it was the little girl, the smaller one. Oh my god, look at that. It's so unacceptable. I wonder which is better, just using hints than getting wrong numbers? Maybe? That was a tricky one. It was. It was. What's this? Nothing else. Oh no, I didn't mean to go out. I guess go in in this case. 
Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean, probably of no consequence. Oh, we're not getting Someone it. Someone left. Looks clean. Cool. All right, let's go back and let's go in front of the. Is that it? Alright, cool. Uh, can we replay the puzzle that we didn't get at the star on? There you go. Yeah. Now that we know the answer. <laughs> How? Yeah, well, how is it? A four-person tournament means there were three matches. Ah, in the first two matches, the two competitors were eliminated. In the final match, two winners faced off, and the winner of that was the champion. Flo, the wielder of the Grizzly Grip, won a one, uh, one, one match and lost another. That's only possible if she won her first match, proceeded to the final and final match and lost. The woman who beat the grizzly group is the winner. Oh, so they're not gonna face all of each other, I guess. Is it? Is it how it is? So the first two already lost, sorry. Cool. Oh no, I lo 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 Alright, let's go away. We don't have anything else here anymore. Alright, let's go. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Have they been? That guy Plus, doesn't. It seem looks like, like I'm it. primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Cool. Agent Tether's out. Agent Tether's. Are you supposed to be saying that? Mm, why not? No. You're an FBI agent, even though it's pretty much, you know. Uh, can we speak to him? No. All right. Cool. It's kind of eerie that we can just see them like in the... Alright, let's... Oh, it's Valda. It's not Yalkas. It's Valda's in. Alright. Let's go to the factory. Oh, I thought it crashed. But it wasn't. It was just... Paused. Alright, cool. Let's look around. Maybe there's a gum anywhere. No. Hi, Sheriff Bob. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Nelson Tethers, good to meet you. We got Hi. a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh yes. It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. Why? But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're so in We our need right it for the pickle. White House. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. Uh, alright. I am not welcomed by this sheriff, I think. Was it? Incident. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. Um, time of the accident. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. Oh shit, another puzzle. 
wrangling watchmen. The rest easy guard service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. From their statements, can you determine the time of the big noise? Solve it. Alright, boom! One hour before the last ship started. Alright, so we need to know who has the last shift and when it starts, right? Uh, from midnight to midnight, alright? Alright, cool. So I get the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie put in full eight hours. Alright, so he put in full eight hours. I worked from six till I was relieved. Eight hours? Wait, what again? From midnight to midnight, so 12 to 12, right? I assume. Alright, 12 to 12. Oh shit. Alright, 12 to 12. Bernie has. Eight hours. If he worked from six, then no one can get eight hours, right? Wait, no. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no. Because if he worked from 6, then it means he started like at 6, right? We don't know when he was relieved, but... Midnight to midnight, so 12 hours? Wait, no. Is it 24 hours? Did it mean 24 hours? Yeah, I guess it would mean 24 hours. Cool, alright. So it's not just 8. Alright, cool. So we don't know which part of 6 he started, but we know that it's 6. Cool. What's the question there? Uh, we need to know when the explosion happened. We know that the boom, the explosion happened 1 hour before the last ship started. So we need to know what the last ship is. So Bernie has 8 hours. He worked from 6 till he was relieved. Eight. If uh, Bernie was like before six, that would mean he worked from when? Five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So ten. And that would mean. like get um maybe paint to like <laughs> uh figure out our thing why is the clock at 12 we can we can like click it we need to know when it started but it's 12 to 12 so 24 hours right it's midnight to midnight it says so let's see Let's get paint in. Let me give you a window of paint. <laughs> there you go. All right. So.
<laughs> We're trying to. I'll do crayons. Uh, also, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I want this to be really cool. We're gonna draw on. <laughs> Let's imagine POV, you're actually an agent in the 90s or something. Let's draw on a blackboard, which is actually a green board. There you go. <laughs> Look at this role play. Um. So, 12, right, what, is this the crayon, what, where is the crayon, oh, here's the crayon, I like the crayon, there you go, so 12, right, <laughs> oh, let's think about it from, uh, tw 12 to 24, is that a proper term? Or zero, do we go zero to 24? Let's imagine zero to 24, right? Because that makes more sense. This is midnight. Oh no, this is noon. Because it's midnight to midnight, right? So... Um, so the explosion happened one hour before the last ship started. Someone started at six, but we don't know which six it is. If it's here and someone did three. What would be 3? So it would be 9, right? 9 plus 8. 17. Right? But it wouldn't make sense for them to be... Oh, I guess we don't know how much hours Al did. Um, wait, 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 let's, let's do this, right, Bernie, wait, let's get a smaller chalk, alright, cool, look at this, Bernie is 8 hours, right, um, what else, alright, pop, is three. Oh, we don't know when Iggy is relieved. Iggy, we just know that Iggy starts from six. What if it is the last shift? Right? Uh six <laughs> why did I put six? What's uh what's twenty-four? What's the half of twenty-four to twelve? Eight, right? Eighteen? So it's, it should be eighteen. But uh, wait a moment, how do you erase? <laughs> oh wow, this is so small. Where is that shit? Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, it's actually 18, right? Wait, no. Yeah, 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 18. So what if he's the last ship, right? I. <laughs> yeah, it's... 17, nine, that's 9 plus 8, yeah, but uh, I think I, I changed my way of thinking. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, it, ha it, it happened 
one hour before the last ship started. What if Iggy started at 18, which is 6 p.m., right? What if she, he started at 18? So 8 would be 10, right? But we don't know. 8 plus 3. Oh, alright, alright. I think we know that it happened on Bernie's shift. So we know that it happened on Bernie's shift, but we don't know when Bernie's shift ha uh, happened. So that's all we need to know. Wait, 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 wait. We still have Al. Dudes, it crashed again, my dudes. God damn it. <laughs> but I think we were getting somewhere. So we know that Bur it's happened in Bernie's shift. Right, I think Bernie starts at because he said one hour before the last ship. But we don't know when the last ship started. Start back to this. What was? What? What? Oh my God! Na pagisip din ako, right? <laughs> All right. So we know that uh, one hour before the last ship started, uh, we have Bernie, right? And it's eight hours. If it started at four, that would mean up to twelve. But that would mean, right? It can't. Uh, it can't be Bernie's. Bernie can't be the last shift because there's a shift before him so it can't start he can't start at 4 also I just realized that alright so uh, this guy worked from 6 till he was relieved but we don't know how many hours he gets when did the accident happen that's that's what we need to know. <laughs> that's what we we need to think about. So he worked from six, right? But we don't know when how many hours he gets, right? But we know that he can't do eight hours like Bernie does with this, right? So if Bernie's uh, the last shift, I don't think this guy would be working at the um, six at six p.m. Right? I think he'll be like early. He would be working at six a.m. And but I'm not sh if he's working at six a.m. He can do like any of those until seven hours. Right? Cause, cause all we know is that no one else can do, no one else can do eight hours. So, it means he can only do up to seven hours at most. Right? We have someone who has the shortest shift of three hours, though. But we don't know.
but we don't know where it is. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. If um if the shortest shift is three hours, we don't know how many hours Al has. So I'm not sure. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Does that mean he did eight full eight hours? Alright, cool. He already did full eight hours? Oh no, my mind. <laughs> should we should we use a hint? Oh my god. Alright, cool. Anyways, let's imagine that. Uh, Pop is the last, um, the very last shift, then that would be like one, two, three, right? Nine? And if um, Bernie was eight, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then six would be seven hours. And then there's another six hour shift. If that is the case, if then that would mean that the the explosion happened at eight. But. But since, like, all right, this is my, this is the only thing I'm having a hard time about it, because it says that only Bernie put in f the full eight hours, right? And I would assume that means, I would assume after the. But after something exploded, no one else did their shift, right? Their shift is now done. That's why the only ones who actually did, who are confirmed to have done their shifts are Iggy and Bernie. Pop says he gets the shortest shift, but it's not like we have confirmation that he did his shift. Right? Why is the FB chat not showing up? We are streaming, right? Hi, Sheriff Bog. Agent Chatters, good to meet you. Oh. oh, there you go, there we go. What happened to the form? Oh, I didn't My mean notes that. don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is oh. there a... Uh, is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. So that Isaac means she, he name. might not be dead. You don't have dead. that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. All right, cool. What was... We already did this, so... When did the accident take place? Well, I'm here... We still don't know if... I... No, I get the shortest shift. Three hours. It's not like he's... Uh, I need a hint. I want a hint. I'm gonna use a hint. Just one. Iggy started at 6, but he did did his... I already knew that! That's not what I needed in my life! God damn it. Fuck you. 
Oh yeah, wait. We can actually assume that Iggy started at 6 p.m. and he's the last one. Stupid hint, <laughs> right? He could be the last one, but he worked till I was really. And he could have worked until 12, which is 6 hours. That's still less than 8 hours. And that would mean the explosion started at 5. But how would that make sense? 6 is equals to 10. 10. I don't know. Uh, all right, twelve. All right, let's see. Twelve to three, right? And then plus eight, which is gonna be eleven. I would assume six. I don't know. We need another hint. <laughs> that is. That didn't really help us at all. What is it? My brain hurts. I do not have enough brain cells for this. I thought this was gonna be easy. Um, only Bernie did the full eight hours. So that's the one that's sure. If we did the full eight hours before it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it could still be um, pop for three hours, right? Then that would mean it would be eight. Do you want to guess at eight? Or let's use another hint. I'm gonna use another hint, yes. Pop work the last shift ending at midnight. Alright, cool. So it is an eight, right? Because uh, that would be one, two, three. And that is three hours, right? So that would be eight. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh my god. All right, how? Bernie worked 8 hours out of the 24 hour day. Pop worked 3. Uh, Al worked 6 hours. How do I know if Al. Oh, Al worked 6 hours and Iggy worked 7. Iggy had to start at 6 a.m. because he was relieved by another guard. That's true, yeah. So a.m. Al came first and worked the 6 hour shift. Then Iggy started at 6 a.m. and ended at 1 p.m. Bernie worked the third shift since he heard the noise. Yeah, that makes sense. And the shift went to 9 p.m. So the explosion happened at 8 p.m. Fucking hell, alright, cool. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? That's Good point. true. Maybe they grew back. Investigation. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Indeed. That was really hard to guess, you're yeah, right? Well, I don't seem we don't to be really getting a lot of answers. What... 
Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you may be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really Agent think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. Me get the moose here in a bit. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hmm. Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Can Fort Knox. Can we just chainsaw it? Damaged, I think it will it make seems to be through the door. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, cool. But I guess we're not the chainsaw detective, aren't we? Uh, Moose Gear? Alright. to be some tiny footprints in the snow around the diner. But I don't see any kids around here. Possibilities include stealthy children, tiny animals wearing boots, cats wearing shoes. Nice, Nelson. Now that's going in FBI It's records. the gnomes! It's the gnomes! Still recording. Tether's out. One of them were missing. Off. Safety. Excuse me. I see you're working on your sign. Yes. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Cool. Excuse me. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix it. I wanted to go into the diner. Excuse me, I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me? Oh, do I need to fix the sign for him? Yeah. <laughs> something wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something wrong with you? A cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta I'm, get I'm an FBI agent. Get, get it correct. Be out here after dark, if you know what I mean. I don't actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not all right. With all the whispers in my head. What? Cool. Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. The repairman has forgotten which fuse he needs to use even though he coded them so he wouldn't forget. Select the fuse that completes the sequence. Cool. Alright. Would it be this? What do you think? What do you think? 
Why you gotta code them like this? Why can't you just write like a normal letter or something? So we had the hat. We had we have a heart with the mustache. And we have M. Do we need another hint? <laughs> Use that brain. <laughs> I mean with the progression of things mm. I need a hint man I have no brain cells for this the sequence of symbols in on the fuse back looks somewhat familiar. That's not a good hit at all! I know! <laughs> what do you mean somewhat familiar? Maybe it's not as random as it is. That does not help me. Can you look at the man again? No. Uh, oh, we, we can quit. Hey, uh, what about my fuse? I'll figure it out. Just give me a minute. What do you need from the man? help us let's try that again get the fuse for me oh I got another hint oh no 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 it's not another hint do you want We got it, boys. It's uh, look, 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 it's symmetrical. It's one, two, three, four. So it's this. Because this is three. I guess is the better term. How will you know that without a hint? I mean, you just have to use your brain. The puzzles in this game are more like puzzles you'll see, like an escape room kind of deal. You just have to use your that should do it. Whatever logic hey, you can. What do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign now. The gnomes. Well, we'll see. It's the gnomes factory. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident? I don't suppose I do. Foreman. Did you know Isaac Davner? Brain's not working. <laughs> right? Accident. Feel Welcome to the no brain cells gang. Such a pretty My girl. last ten brain should really talk weird, to her. all right. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. So where is it? So where can I find it? Inside. Wait a moment, let me. 
Oh shit. Ah. Wait, can I get a coke? Maybe some coke will help me rock my brains, you know? <laughs> Let me go. with a coke cheers all right cool <laughs> yippee i want to play near automata as well but i looked at the prices of the uh, pc parts right because i'm now oh fuck oh no all right because now i'm um planning on just building my own pc because it's cheaper that way and now and when you're uh, building your own PC, you can customize it a bit, right? Uh, but the parts right now, especially for a graphics card, is like really expensive considering the COVID situation. We're hoping it gets better considering the vaccines are getting out already. I'm sure like some of the people would be like, or some of the companies will be able to like do more uh like produce more graphics cards by the end of the year and i assume prices will go drop by then because right now prices for like graphics cards pretty much every every component you can find it's like really expensive graphics card especially so like uh the supposed like prices for graphics card or the graphics card that i want right the graphics card that i want because i um i wanted to get a ryzen 7 3 700 right x and uh for that so i wouldn't like i i just assume like i'll get like a 7 so that you know and up it's an upgrade from my laptop right and get a um, very good graphics card with it and the graphics card that would uh, do it a lot of justice or at least the the minimum <laughs> right that would help my graph uh, my the processor that i want is i got them either a 160 ti or a 260 RTX 260 which is supposedly only about around $200 but guess what right now it's sitting at around so 200 is 10 right 
it's around $600 right now around $600 to $400 which I am like uh, oh no no six oh no six hundred to four hundred six hundred to seven hundred dollars which I am not willing to pay for something that's supposed to be cheaper than that <laughs> oh, but yeah so once the COVID situation has calmed down and graphics cards are now you know coming by easier uh, I'll, I'll, I'll build one <laughs> goodbye all right let's go in Do you have gum? I need gum. Uh, before we talk, we need to talk to her, right? And the sheriff. Uh, let's talk Hi to there. the guys I'm here. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? No, I think he just needs some anything. help with Sir, puzzles. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. I'm into some stuff. What stuff? Who are you? So, what's your name? Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. If mm -hmm. you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. Cool. Factory. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. What's the usual? What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. What? The birds. To where? Why? How? Right? Like trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Right? Why birds? <laughs> All right. Loner Steve strains birds to transport fright. Tonight's shipment just departed, but Steve forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? Each type of bird has a certain weight limit. Each bird shown is carrying the maximum amount it can. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what they can. Fright might be balanced evenly between the bird's two legs. Alright, so if fright must be balanced evenly. Sh oh shit, no, never mind. Fuck. If they can share a load, does that mean half? They need at least half. Wait, where's the rules again? Oh, there you go. Each type of bird has a certain. Each bird is shown carrying the maximum amount it can. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. All right, all right. We have a good um. What do you call this? So a blue bird can carry two, right? So, I assume that this only has one and this has one, right? So, if that's the case... Uh, like, it's carrying one and then the one is being shared uh, and it's only carrying one as well. But, it's also sharing a load with this. So, I assume this guy can carry four, right? Because two, right? Two. And then that would be two here. And then here, if they're carrying it, this should be three. 
right? This should be three, so this should be four, and this should be one. So this is one, four, six. Uh, this should be four, was it? Six, ten. This should be three, thirteen, fourteen. Does it need me to? Oh no 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 no. What? Steve forgot to know the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? I think it's fourteen. Do you think I'm right? Do, do you think my my reasoning is solid? I think it's it's pretty good. <laughs> Cause if this birds can only carry two, right? As shown by this bird that's only carrying one bag, and it would be sharing the load with some this, and it's carrying the maximum load it can. So it's it's load is two, so two each, and then three. Right, because it's sharing. I think it's right. Let's just count again. So this is one, four, so this would be four, this would be four, six, plus four, ten, thirteen, fourteen. I think that's right. Yeah! Alright, that's quite easy. That's better than the other ones I can I can think of that look at that we're back to top agent another puzzle solved can we talk to them yeah. hello gentlemen a bit early for a lunch break isn't it until the eraser factory opens again Daryl and I have nowhere else to go oh they work yeah, at the me and Daryl got nowhere else to go oh that's great then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? No. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? Uh, bugs in boxes. Daryl's famous insect collection has gone AWOL. Box them up again by stringing lines between adjoining points, keeping these rules in mind. Alright? Puzzle rules. Enclose all bugs using the fewest numbers of lines to draw a box possible. A box can be any size, but it must be four-sided. Bugs of the same kind can share a box. Each green grass grazer needs three squares of territory, including the square it's on. Each pink puddle paddler needs two, including the square it's on. Mm. All right, cool. Flew west and green needs three, pink needs two. So I would uh, already assume. Oh, still like this. Can we do this? Yeah, bugs of the same kind can share a box, so it's fine. I think this is how it should be. Right? Because they need two each. I think this is it. I think this is pretty easy actually. I think I think I think this is it. Isn't it that? Right? There's still someone watching this. <laughs> that seems right, right? That seems correct. Yeah, 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 that seems right. Hi, Toshi! Look at that! Top agent boy, we're gaining our brain cells back! Oh, look at that! He did it! Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire them at me. Uh... The factory foreman. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? As safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, except the new wing is haunted. No, it isn't. 
You better quit listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry we had to clear out part of the forest to do it. Because spirits live in the forest. Alright, spirits. You mentioned something about spirits in the forest. Really? Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. Cool. Alright. I think it's the gnomes. Because we see little fits, right? And one of the gnomes went missing. I think it's the gnomes, Do you man. guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit him. Shut up, Lobster? There. What's the lobster? What do you mean a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lob. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Hell, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. Um, it can kind of make him a bit smart in some ways. Uh, Repairman. What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scroffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees talk to him. Yeah, but he sure picked the right line of work. He's going to be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to glory. Ooh, She's the waitress here. Eye. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. Is moose milk sweet? <laughs> cool. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Should I talk to the sheriff first? Hello, sheriff. Agent Tethers, good. You're here. Yeah, listen, I wanted to ask you... No time. I got a hunch about the factory. I got uh -huh. security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. What? Why would you do that? <laughs> you know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. Right? <laughs> Rearrange Sheriff's bag Sheriff Bag's photos to show the order in which the factory workers left. Cool. Oh, uh, well, he's the first one because there's no footprints in the sand or whatever. Then I think he should be, yeah, he should be second, right? Because there's footprints already. He should be third and he should, that should be fourth. That makes sense. Cool. Easy! Look at that, that agent! This should clear things up. Yeah, yeah. That seems about right. Looks like the last one out was oh, Mike Oh, sir. You think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Spence? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Got it. What's a dead no, stick wait, a lunker? Do what to a what? Catch some fish. Oh. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, cool, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. Cool. Glory. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town oh, for they generations. Oh, David La Lobners? Maybe she has something to do what? with the accident. That's ridiculous. What's his it name again? I forgot. could be an insurance. Now you just leave poor Glory alone. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. Cool. I mean, it's my job as an FBI agent. Just, you know, considering all the possibilities. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy to leave the factory was Mike Lobb. Drive out to Sesame Woods, then walk the trail out to the ice fishing huts. All right. Is there anything I should know about the Sesame Woods? Well, they've got the odd wolverine in them. What? But they're probably hibernating or migrating or the like. Cool. 
I better get back to it. You betcha. All right, hi, Glory. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. Can I help you with that? Oh. Glory is distracted by the puzzle of the fo of food she's preparing to serve? Fit all the food items on the plate in such a way that none of them overlap to get her attention. Cool, alright. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it sticks together. Uh, alright, cool. Um... Does this stick? No. Oh, oh, that sticks. Good. No? They just stick together, so you can just like put them around, see whatever sticks. <laughs> cool. There you go. Delicious. Thanks. So, uh, what's good here? I don't know. It's all fine. Oh, okay. What's your name? Lori Davner. Oh, haha. <laughs> so, I'm Nelson. Are you feeling okay? Yes. No. I'm just thinking about my husband. What's wrong with your husband, ma'am? Is he okay? He will be. Well, I'm with the FBI's Department will of be. Puzzles That's a Research. Weird answer. I need to ask you a few questions. An he has something to do with his husband. Caused it to shut his, down. Uh, her do you know anything about that? Um, of course I disappearance? do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident, like everyone says. I'm saying disappearance because we, uh, they said they're, they never found the body, which means he might still be alive, just away somewhere. The factory foreman, Isaac Davner. And he was Gloria your is husband? suspicious with that yes. first comment oh, she did. I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. <laughs> All oh. right, cool. Okay. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? <laughs> oh, no. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. <laughs> All right, work? Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah, people tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. I My see Xbox that. needs some Maybe update, so I'm back. Oh, oof. All right, diners and dishes. When these three couples walked into the diner, Glory thought she knew what each would order. She was wrong, and now she's forgotten who gets what. And here's what she does recall. Excuse me? Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. For GBI. 
Uh, for you, all right. I mean, that should be quite fast, like just a few minutes if you have good internet, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> enjoy your stay, I guess. <laughs> Uh, one lady ordered the meal resembling the fish eating. What? <laughs> one lady ordered the meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. Oh, oh, is that mean he's the man is eating fish? All right, cool. All right, so so that. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, only one patron resembles his or her meal. All right, the ham plate should be set down next to the banana split. Uh huh. All right, cool. Sure. Someone eats fish. And that that guy looks that should be someone that looks uh, uh oh I don't <laughs> rules again. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. Alright. So they would alright. How how alright, fine. Never mind. I'm not gonna question it. So uh like this guy would never order what? Is that supposed to be chicken? Well well so we know that um this two did not order or at least this girl did not order a buffalo and uh, this guy did not order fish. Right, so that's one. Oh no 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 no, not hit. Ah, uh, rules. One lady ordered the meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. All right, which means it can only be this girl, cause uh, sh she would not order her spouses. So she would not order like uh she would not order an ice cream, right? Cuz it's her spouse. So that would means this is the guy next to her and it means she ordered onions. And this guy ordered fish, right? Cuz it says that the the girl ordered uh, uh ordered something that resembles the man eating fish. Cool. Now what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, rules again. Hand plate should be set down next to the banana split. Alright, that's the only one. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. Alright, cool. And no one would order something. Uh, what's this again? What's that called? Oh, this is buffalo burger. Alright, cool. Oh, so this girl would not order ham, right? So the ham would probably go with this girl. Or, or, or that guy. Right? Chicken. Uh, this man will never get the chicken, right? Buffalo, buffalo is never gonna go here. It could be this man. But then what? Oh no, we need someone. Uh, we need the ham next to the, uh, the 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 um Sunday banana split. Oh, <laughs> that was how it. Something like this. Oh, 
Oh wait, no, 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 that's not right. Cause, uh... We need one guy to be the same, right? Oh, no, 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 wait, there, 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 there. Right? Oh, no, no, not hint. I keep clicking the hint instead of rules. No, a body ordered the meal resembling their spouse. One lady ordered the meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. So that's correct, right? So she ordered an onion because this guy is eating fish. Oh, fuck. Rules? Only one patron resembles his or her meal. Which. Oh shit! No, 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 no. I was wrong. Because this is not a chicken, that's, that's the ham girl. And we need the ham to be beside... Because um, this is the chicken girl. We need the ham to be beside the split. Oh shit! Oh, this... There you go. Oh, it's is it like this? I mean, we need it to be together. Yeah, that's the only choice we have, right? Because they need to be together, so we can't put it here. You have a very puzzled look on your face! I mean, it is a puzzle game. That That's on team. <laughs> uh, I think it is right. And can this just be like... Oh, wait, 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 no. She did not order the, what her spouse looks like, right? So this should be correct. Because this girl eats uh, something that looks like the m man that's eating fish, which is onion. So she got onion. Uh, no one ordered something that looks like their spouse. So uh, no, she did not order a buffalo, and he did not order a fish. Ham is beside the split. Only one person has the same thing as they look like. So this is the Sunday. Seems about right. <laughs> Looks fine. Let's do it. Yeah! FBI agents, boys! Look at that. All big brains in the chat. Big brains. That wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have cool. a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. For what? I already did it. Oh, wait, what is this? There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress cherry? hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. It smells like do some to are like are tobacco scented are some tobacco scented i thought they were just like tobaccos <laughs> maybe there are some i don't know i don't know enough to know about this all right i think we're supposed to go to the sled all right i How think we're doing? all done right oh wait we, we have another one birds they're smart. They have I sense. A black wow, right, open cool. a car door and steal a cream cheese Danish. Wow. Uh huh. Cool. Contraband carriers. Loner Steve has an order of ceramic gnomes ready to ship, and here comes his avian mail carriers. Draw lines to attach fry to these first legs, keeping in mind these rules. A mullard can carry two gnomes per leg. An owl. 1.5, a bluebird one. So is this a mallard? 
All right, two nones per leg. An owl, 1.5. 1.5? What does that mean? All right. So it can carry three all in all, I guess, an owl. The bluebird, one, so two. So basically, a mallard can carry four, an owl can carry three, a bluebird can carry two. Birds may team up on heavy loads, carrying each what he can. Fright must be balanced evenly between the bird's two legs. Alright, lines can cross or the shipment will become tangled. Alright, cool. Let's see. Well, this one is that, right? Wait, 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 wait. No. Maybe that's wrong, actually. Alright, since we can't cross, let's just do this like this. So we still have three here. Can do one of. Uh... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Remove that. Remove. How, how do I remove? There you go, there you go. So, right. Um, so this carries two, right? So we still have one. So this one will connect there. And he can connect here. Nice. I think that's correct. I, did, I think that's fine. It's carrying two. Two. This one's carrying two. And then this one's carrying one. And then one. Alright, that's cool. Here. Well, let's just do this. And then this two. And this guy can carry three. So... We can just put it like that. That seems right. Submit. Yeah, look at all these brain cells at work right now. Look, yay! <laughs> cool. Wow, that wasn't so hard. Right? Wasn't so hard. Oh, you Do you have more? No. All right. See ya, Steve. See ya, Steve. Can we talk to her Could again? I have a... Sure. Oh, no, no. Alright, cool. Oh, no more? Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. How about hey, you? Excuse me. Alright, no more? I better right, get... cool. You betcha. So, nothing else? Maybe we're missing anything? Nothing? Alright. This doesn't seem like we are. So, let's go. What time is it? It's almost 11. We'll stop at 11. All right, the the sign is working now. It's the gnomes! It's the gnome! All right, cool. They're scary. They're quite creepy. Uh, ha ha ha! This is. Looking more like a horror game. I guess it's a suspense, <laughs> a thriller. The snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. No, that's For definitely a, second, a demon. No, I saw. It doesn't matter. I'm on my way to question Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts, but to get there, I have to go through Sassamy Woods. Maybe you shouldn't that record that. That dangerous at all. Kind of sounds like you're losing your mind a bit, and for an FBI agent, that doesn't seem like a thing that should happen to you or else you get your job uh, be taken away all right let's go to sasimi woods right <gasps> is he dead he's frozen Um, wait, let's take a look around first before we do that. Alright. Found Isaac Davner's ID badge. Looks like he came this way sometime before the accident. Why was Lobster, uh, Mike Lobb, out here as well? Hmm. Alright, nothing else, right? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, cool. Hello? He seems like he's dead. Ugh. 
Who was I that, this guy? I found Mike Lobb. Man, late 30s. Looks like he's he he trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm gonna Did he look. just ug a dead person? <laughs> oh my god, this FBI agent. All right, menacing map. Was Mike Love following Isaac? Rotate tiles to chart a path from Mike Love to the ice fishing hut. But beware lest the path intersects with one which a shadowy figure lurks. Oh, wait, what? So we just avoid the no. Maybe we shouldn't go there because it connects to that boy. Um, I guess this would just go like this, right? I assume if it, this doesn't go anywhere, then this would just go here. Oh no. I don't think we can go from here. Alright, le let's do this instead. Oh no. Oh, we can rotate them. Then just rotate them away. <laughs> um. We do that and it goes straight up, right? There you go. I think that's fine. Go here, here. There's no way here, so we'll go here. I assume that's how it goes. Alright, let's just hope that is how it is. You know, my a brain kinda really hurts right now. Huh? Does it, uh, oh, I guess we should just not connect anywhere near that guy, maybe. Is what it's trying to say. Oh, maybe we should just. Oh, is that fine? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's just it. Because now it's not connected to anything. There you go. My my head is hurting. Is it because of this game? <laughs> Using all the brains I needed to use. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Uh, there's a dead person. Maybe you should report oh, that. Sorry, I I, I didn't mean. Oh, <gasps> he's alive! They, they, they tried to, 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 to take him. Lock must M maybe must we should take him somewhere on the factory door. Key. <gasps> it's not a key, it's the gear, but sure, thanks. Is he that? Oh, is he dead now? All right, cool. Thanks. What is this thing? Thanks, Mike Lob. I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. I'm going to hold on to it for later. N yeah, you should. The lake with the ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have think... this affliction. <laughs> I think that's a good um, place to end it. Yeah, I think that's a good 
place to end it since it's almost 11 and my head is hurting right now I'm gonna get like a nap and then work at midnight probably uh, so yeah I think it auto saves so I don't think I need to like care about it but let's see our journal what does it say Boards outside the hotel. I'm going to question Mike Love. Tiny footprints are outside the diner. Maybe cats wearing shoes. I think I found Mike Love. Looks like he froze to trying to solve some sort of problem. Lobster had something important looking in his hands. Cool. Alright. I mean, I'm having fun solving some puzzles. Even though sometimes it hurts my brain and actually right now I'm hurting so bad my brain suddenly like when that last puzzle started my head started hurting and I guess I've overworked my last few brain cells so I think I, we need some sleeps for a little bit you know to just regain like you know just to refresh and uh, <laughs> get them brain cells some rest my last remaining brain cells but yeah hopefully you've had fun it was interesting some of the puzzles were quite easy I thought this was going to be like a game for kids at first and then some of them were really hard for some reason and I'm like damn kids can't think of that can they am I stupider than a kid is stupider even a word uh, but yeah, I think it was fun. I think it was okay. I like solving the puzzles. I'm not sure how long this game is, but I also bought the second. Yeah, there's the second game. I like the style so far. Uh, voice acting, nice. I don't need to read stuff, so that's a good break from voice acting stuff, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, and I had to use my brain, and I am quite proud, you know, of uh, the stuff I've solved, and I am also not proud that some of it I couldn't. <laughs> but yeah, that was an interesting, uh, interesting game to say the least. Gnomes, it's it's kind of creepy sometimes. That makes me feel like yeah, this probably isn't a game for kids, even though the puzzles kind of seem that way. For some reason, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just it just seems like a bit creepy for kids. I don't know. Sometimes, like when there's no music, it kind is kind of unsettling. Even though it, I, I I did not really expect that, but it is a bit unsettling with all the gnomes and the silent most of the time silent background noise. But yeah. Anyways, I had fun solving some puzzles, um, overworking my brain. Hope you had fun. I'm gonna take a nap. Um, see you on Wednesday, because I don't think we'll have a game night. It's Sunday, so... But yeah, anyways, see you on Wednesday, boyos. Bye-bye.